I've been working on these uh, LED tattoos because I think that wearable tech uh, is super cool and there's more that we can do beyond uh, just e-textiles. Although it's really awesome that people are building lots of wearable tech. Um, at the same time, I like this idea of exploring um, more skin-mounted stuff because there's plenty of potential there. Uh, so I've been making these. This is the third version, which I have linked uh, in a tutorial. And uh, it's got some things left to work out. For example, uh, I want to use a different substrate than this conductive thread. But what we have here is a light blue bean controller. This is a Bluetooth controller that you can get for about $30 that incorporates an accelerometer, aka you know, orientation and motion sensor, uh, and also a temperature sensor. And then it also runs on a coin cell. And what I've got it set up doing is lighting up these three LEDs based on its orientation. So when this axis is facing upwards or downwards, the blue LED lights up. When it's sideways, the yellow LED lights up. And when it's up and down, the red LED goes. Um, let me see if I can demonstrate this a little better. Oh, here we go. There's yellow because it's sideways. Red because it's up and down. And then if I go like this, it, yes, cool. Then you get the blue one again. Uh, <laughs> cool. Um, so that's uh, the light blue bean one. And there's another uh, program that I've set up for this. Ooh, let me show you how it works. Actually, uh, I can just reprogram it right here. Uh, so this thing is programmed over your phone, which makes it really easy to uh, reprogram it on the fly, depending on what you want it to do. So let's have a look at the app that I use for this. It's called Bean Loader. I'm going to up the brightness slightly. Shoop. Yeah. So we've got the Bean Loader app. Uh, and if I change to my other uh, app that I've got on here, this is just Arduino code that I've written. Uh, Bean Loader allows you to write whatever you like in Arduino, and then uh, you upload it over Bluetooth. So I'm going to hit the arrow here. Oh, this has got the acceleration. No, this is just the blinking. OK, cool. Oh. File names are important. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's upload the alternative code here. As you can see, this is still running. It sucks up a lot of battery, though, to use the accelerometer constantly. And so that's why I made this blinky code as well. Let's select this bean. Boop. Uh, and I tell the whole story of how uh, what you can do with these is actually you can enable security. Uh, by setting a pin for it in the desktop app that you can also program it from. Uh, and my problem was that I set this months ago and forgot the pin. So I had to uh, basically reprogram, uh, reset, factory reset the whole thing in the line uh, as we were getting ready to present this demo at Science Hack Day, uh, which was harrowing. But uh, now you can see that there's this other blink code. Let me see if I can shadow that a little bit. So this is a cute little cyborg-y example that if you're doing like a, you know, I don't know, maybe not a Cylon, maybe an old school Cylon. You could have it like flashing across your head and back and stuff with a bunch of red LEDs. Uh, yeah, so this could be used really well in cosplay and uh, other types of uh, costumes where you just want to have a little bit of bling. Um, and all I'm using is double-sided sticky tape on here. And the other thing that I'm using is, so we've got a light blue bean here. And uh, the other part is circuit stickers, which are made by Chibitronics, uh, which is a cool company made, uh, founded by Bunny Huang and Jie Qi from the MIT Media Lab. And I love these things. They're designed to be used on paper, but you can also sew them together. They have little uh, holes where you can sew them. Uh, and obviously, you can stick them to your skin. I still recommend using some double-sided sticky tape for that. So that is uh, version number three of the LED tattoo. I want to update the way that they're connected because right now the conductive thread, that's what this is, it's stainless steel thread that you can get on Adafruit, SparkFun, and other places, and it's linked from the tutorial. Uh, however, it has a tendency to fray, and it also is kind of floppy, which means that it can uh, accidentally contact itself. I've done a pretty good job of avoiding that in this round, but uh, it is a challenge. 
However, the positive thing about the conductive thread is that it, uh, it's really easy to reposition. So, you know, you can sew your circuit together, then like decide when you're putting it on your skin how you want it to be arranged. And that's really simple with this thread. Plus, it's really uh, resistant. It's, it's quite durable, so you can reuse it multiple times. Uh, and it doesn't like, it doesn't bother it much if you sort of flex it, you know, you can just do this and it's fine. Up to a, a large, an absurdly large number of uh, flexes. So to turn this guy off, you could, you could add a, uh, a power switch if you like, but I'm just going to take the coin cell out and actually... Uh... Again, yeah, this flashing LED animation, <laughs> this is a little tough. This is why I advocate putting uh, on-off switches on all of your tech. Because if you're doing a wearable, then there's nothing more annoying than trying to pull out a coin cell battery or whatever when it's like stuck in your earrings and stuff, and you're like, ah, in the bathroom, and you don't have a mirror, it's the worst thing. Anyway, yeah, that's the bean loader. <laughs> so there's a previous version that is also uh, linked from that tutorial. This is version two. Um, it's just using a lily pad from SparkFun. Um, this is just a coin cell battery with a built in uh, on off switch, which is wonderful. Uh, and it's using a sensor from circuit stickers. This is the light sensor. They have sound sensors and also uh, little animation stickers as well. Uh, and that goes to the stickers. We put this on uh, my new friend Tiffany at the Science Hack Day. So I'm going to demonstrate how these are sewn together because it's come apart. Uh, the nice thing about these stickers is that while we were prototyping, we didn't actually have to put knots in the thread we could just sort of stick them through these holes and they'd be fine. Uh, however, that means that when you take the thing off, it does get a little weird. Uh, the reason that we upgraded from these is partly because I wanted it to be programmable and also because uh, one thing we learned from this iteration is that the double-sided sticky tape is wonderful, but you want to make sure that you use separate pieces behind each component. Uh, because the sticky tape that connects several components is going to get a little grimy and it looks gross. There are more learnings like this in the tutorial. Let's go ahead and sew this together. I'm going to re-angle a little bit uh, and refocus slightly just so that we can get a nice shot of this. Cool. So uh, we found that it was a little bit tough to thread the needle but um, you can use a regular sewing needle and just like trim the thread so that it's nice and clean. You got no little stray flyaways. Uh, here we go. And then just sort of put it through here. Come on. I've got to flatten it a little bit. Oh, come on. I swear this worked before. The kit itself actually, um, the lily pad kit ships with some large needles. And I might just give up and go to those because this is being a huge pain. Um, and we chose this smaller needle because, uh, we thought that it would work better to make sure that the hole is small in the conductive pad which would uh, give a better electrical contact. But I'm going to see how we do with the big needle. All right, where are you? Here we go. Oh, and here's our sound one. It's really gross. I'm not going to show you because it's just, it's just gross. <laughs> that tape gets all nasty. You know, because there's like lint and dead skin cells and all the other stuff. Um, yeah, so you might have seen my posts about an LED tattoo a couple of weeks ago from Maker Faire New York. And these are basically the successors to that design uh, because that worked really well. However, um, we no I noticed that uh, the conductive fabric tape that I was using, while amazing, uh, did not hold up well to solder because the solder would, um, you could solder to it, but after a few uses, the uh, edge of the solder joint, which was sharp, would wear through the fabric. Oh, come on. Mm. 
There we go. Cool. Oh, I should have done it the other way. <laughs> you want to go from the top down so that the ends are hidden. Uh, that's fine, though. What else? And this one. It's a lot easier if a friend does this on you or you do this for a friend. Um, you, of course, want to sew it together before you put it on the person. And, uh, yeah, it helps to have somebody else, a buddy with you. But you can totally do it on yourself. Like, that's, that's what I've been doing in the office here. There we go. Okay. So the way that this uh, sensor is set up in the Chibitronics kit is that you have... Um, let me get this a little more in focus for you. Yeah, so you have the coin cell, right? And here's a positive contact and a negative contact. Uh, you wire those up to the positive and negative contacts on the sensor itself. And then uh, the positive contact gets connected to the plus side of your LEDs. And then the negative, uh, or the, the output from the sensor gets hooked into the ground side of your LEDs. So basically what you're doing is putting a really fancy switch, which is your light sensor or sound sensor or whatever. It's like a gate or a trigger in your ground line. So instead of having direct from uh, you know, power to the power on your LEDs and ground to the ground on the LEDs, uh, your ground lead is interrupted uh, by this sensor and that controls how much power can flow through. So if you have partial light on it, then um, actually what it is, it's more a dark sensor than a light sensor because, uh, let me just show you. Ah! <laughs> uh, maybe I'll stick this on, it might make it easier. Yeah, let's do it on both arms, why not? Um, so it's more of a dark sensor, as I said, uh, and I mean that in that, um, so this is how we had it set up. Uh, if you cover up the sensor, then your LEDs go on. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah. And we're getting a little bit of what's going on here. Do we have a short or what? I think it's just hard to get them to connect super well. Ooh, there we go. That's great. Yeah, so this is, you know, your light sensor one. We also found out that this can work as a pulse sensor because you have, if you have a bright light, then uh, you put that uh, behind your finger while your finger is on top of the sensor. And that basically means that when your blood pulses through your finger uh, on your heartbeat, then uh, that blocks the light going to the sensor and it makes the LEDs glow. So they'll do a little heartbeat flicker, which is really cool. Uh, I'm really excited about that one. <laughs> and it was very fitting because it was Science Hack Day. Um, so check that out. Uh, I really want to do more of these that are like health meters, you know, you can uh, stream from various sensors. Oh, I feel so cyborgy right now, I love this. <laughs> um, so yeah, two amazing wearable, uh, let's get the other one running again. I want to feel like a total cyborg. Um, so if you're as fascinated by this stuff as I am, then uh, pick up some Chibitronic circuit stickers and just and some conductive tape and maybe some coin cell holders and go to town. I've got three new tutorials up for this. Uh, I think it's a great way to celebrate Halloween with some cool cyborg-y uh, add-ons that just stick onto your skin. Uh, it's really easy. Um, so you can do this, you know, with your friends, even if you haven't really done wearable tech stuff before. And uh, yeah, skin's washable. You can just pull these off and put them back on again whenever. Uh, oop, there we go. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I was probably connecting the two wires with my finger is what was happening. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> so cool. Um, I'm going to be playing with these for the rest of the day, but uh, I hope that you have an excellent MCU Monday. Uh, the light blue bean is the one we were featuring, and then these guys are all circuit stickers along with a uh, spark fun lily pad coin cell uh, and you can get that kit from sparkfun.com it's all linked in the tutorials go to town and send us pictures of what you make i really want to see this uh, become more of a thing because it's really easy and uh, stay tuned for future iterations of our led tattoos thanks for watching